So yes, this is where we start. Start here. Start here, yep. You know how far we have to go in? So we create interactive games and events that focus on learning or telling stories through our app. Hopefully find the missing yellow butterflies. I see a yellow. Yellow, yes, right there. Joe Musamechi developed this app he calls Story Trails of Maine. On this day, this particular trail will lead us to the four historic districts throughout China. So we need to locate the age by years. 81. 81, yeah, that does look like 81. Well done. <laughs> Make sure you get a picture of your group at the location. Written clues lead the way. First blue butterfly. Yeah. And once you get there, there's a puzzle to solve. 423, I think, is our code. We create these puzzles based upon different things that are in the area in real life. So we'll use monuments, we'll use plaques, we'll use signs on buildings, numbers, anything that is pretty permanent there. Or uh, for some places, we'll add in our own props. Each trail includes a story or some sort of lesson. So far, six locations, a mix of communities, museums, and schools, are taking part including the renowned Norland's Living History Center, once home to one of Maine's most industrious and prominent political families. And so you go into different places that they lived and you see the different props or inventions or things that they came up with and artifacts. And then we use those things to create puzzles and to teach people about the moments in a fun, entertaining, uh, but also a learning environment. It's so got CPS Pavilion. Touting his app as a modern-day learning tool, it's a combination, he says, of cell phone technology with a real hands-on experience. Needing a phone to find the spot, it still takes a brain to realize the reason that spot is noteworthy. Now, this is a new thing. It's a, a new concept, but it's a good learning tool to teach things that you might not have thought about, like, histor like history. That's usually taught through books. Take that and bring it into the age of technology for a new generation of people. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. And you saw the pictures of all those other players. That is just part of the game to take a group photo once you have solved the puzzle.